Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will cover how to manage locations. First, we're going to navigate to Settings. Within our organization, we'll click the caret to expand that, and we'll click on Manage Locations. Now, locations, or spaces within your venue where you can book events, exist within a specific site or sites. First, you want to check the site indicated at the top to verify that you are adding or editing locations within the correct site. Here on this Manage Locations page, you can add new locations, reorder the list of locations, edit a location, or delete a location. To add a new location, we'll click on New. We'll enter the name of our location. an abbreviation for our location, and the maximum number of concurrent events. These are the number of events that could happen in that space at exactly the same time. We can also enter a maximum capacity if desired. Once done, simply click on Save. You can also now reorder your locations into a different order, simply by clicking the Reorder button and then dragging and dropping your locations again in a different order. Once done, click on the Save button. Lastly, you can edit dependencies of a lo location. Dependencies instruct the system to block certain locations so that they cannot be booked when the dependent location is being used. Let's go into Edit Dependencies of the new location we've just created. There are three dependent types used in Reserve Cloud. We have parents, children, and siblings. Parents, parent dependencies work in the following ways. When a function is booked in the parent location, no functions can be booked in any of the children. The reverse is also true. If a function is booked in one or more of the child locations, then the parent location cannot be booked. Let's pretend for this example that the Opera House is a parent location to the Grand Ballroom, meaning that if I book the Opera House, I would like the Grand Ballroom to not be available as a selection. Children, a child location is part of a parent location, so child dependencies work in the following ways. When a function is booked in one or more child locations, then no function can be booked in the parent. Again, the reverse is true. If a function is booked in the parent location, then any of the child locations cannot be booked. So if by chance the Grand Ballroom also had a child location that was part of it, I could simply drag and drop that one to the right as well. Siblings. Sibling locations are locations that cannot both be booked at the same time. So when a function is booked in one sibling, no functions can be booked in the other sibling. Again, if a sibling relationship is desired, simply click, hold, and drag from the left to the right. Once done with your dependencies, if many are needed, go ahead and click on Done. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the Manage Locations area and show you how our dependencies are reflected on the event calendar. If I go to the event calendar and I look at our day view, you can see here that the dependencies are indented. That way you can quickly identify those types of relationships. I want to thank you now for watching this video about managing your location.